in our society today when someone has passed away. The general message is as well, pass, move on, move on. As if we were being pushed away from an accident scene. But the people we've lost, they have their value, and it's good to stop and think about their value, because it's the value we have in the people around us, that we see in the people around us. This is what keeps us going. This is what makes human society worthwhile. This is what makes us differ from common animals. Archaeologists have known they've found the difference between the point where human, where the apes became human beings is when they started burying their dead and putting little things in in the graves to show that there was a sense of the worth of the person who passed away. So we think of Patrick passed away. We think of his kindness. We think of his generosity. We think of his virtue, his wisdom, his humor. We think about how we can take these as examples, because this is what we leave with one another, because we're all going to go at some time. We want to leave something good, and it's up to the people behind us to realize what's good and what's not, to sort through what can be forgotten and what should be remembered. And so we remember his goodness. And then we take that as an example. You know, we can leave some goodness behind, too. And this goes all the way back to the Buddha. He had gained awakening, and he could have just gone off and stayed in the woods for the rest of his life. Nobody would have known. But he would realized something that he could share, as he shared it with other people. And other people saw the value of what he had shared. Again, his generosity, his virtue, his wisdom. That inspired them to greater heights in their own practice, in their own lives. And then they became the example for the next generation and the next. And this is how goodness lives in the world. This is our appreciation of what's been left behind, the goodness left behind by the people who have gone before us. Sometimes they haven't gone that far before us, but they're, they've left us already. So we take that goodness and we say, we don't want to see that disappear from the world. So we think about how we can bring that into our own behavior. And that's why what's really worthwhile in human society gets passed on, passed on, and is kept alive. So think of the goodness of those who passed on. All too often the goodness dies when one generation comes on and they forget what the previous generation had that was really good. And they have to rediscover it all on their own. Sometimes it's hard, and sometimes they just don't manage it. But we still have good examples. So whatever good example you see, ask yourself, is there some way that I can continue that goodness in the world? It's something you pass on. You benefit from it, and you pass it on. Benefit from it, pass it on. Something that's of no benefit, we can let that go. This is what keeps human society human. It's because of the goodness we show to one another, the goodness that we try to embody in our own actions. Trusting that when we pass on, we'll leave something good behind. And that there will be people who appreciate that goodness and want to keep passing it on as well. So we think of those who passed away, the goodness they've left. We also think of the goodness we would like to do for them. This is why we do meritorious things. Dedicate the merit to them. If they appreciate it, that becomes their merit. And that's what leads to their their happiness in the world beyond. <laughs>